Chelsea will be happy this morning because it looks as though they were about to get out the Carabao Cup last night and yet, unfortunate for Kieran Trippier, yes, we're agreed on that. In came Mudrik, 1-1, penalty shootout, Chelsea won it and through they go to the semi-final. Liverpool go into battle tonight against West Ham. We'll, we'll soon see who comes through that. But Danny, when it comes to Chelsea, um, say they go on and they get to the final, say they go on and win it, is winning a League Cup a marker of progression for the big clubs? You've got to call Chelsea a big club uh, who are rebuilding right now. Is it a marker? Is it a marker of progression? Well, I mean, it depends what you've done the season before. If you've won nothing, then it's progression, and it gives you a base and a platform to move on to better things. But there's no guarantee. Well, I mean, when when did I was do a... that for United, when Mourinho did it, when Ten Hag did it more recently, no. But it gave them it gave them more time at the club to try and succeed. Yeah, because if you didn't, if Ten Hag hadn't won that last year, would he still be there now? When I, when I was at Liverpool, Julio came in. The, the League Cup was the first one we won, and we hadn't won a trophy in a good while. Can't think how many years, but it was a while, and it kind of took that pressure off a little bit, and then gave us a bit of freedom to kick on, and that worked for us. Whereas if we'd have lost it, pressure was still on. But as you say, there's been false dawns before when you win a trophy like that. So there's no guarantee. But let, let's be honest, if you're looking at it from Chelsea's perspective and Pochettino, if Pochettino wins that with a young squad, with all the change, he's only been in there five minutes, it settles everybody down, silences a few critics, you'll, you'll still get the one or two go, well, they had an easy draw and they did, they did this and did that. But it'll give him breathing space and it'll give him time. And yeah. that's key for managers. It's the yeah. difference sometimes between three. Well, it's an interesting characterization you see because we're 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 making it binary that when you win something, ultimately you progress. What it is is an achievement. Mm. It's an achievement, and we spend our time micromanaging circumstances and judging people in that moment. Well, he's so not whoever a bridesmaid. Wins, whoever then, wins a cup is an achievement. Mm. It doesn't necessarily mean that you've progressed. It means that you've won five or six games in a tournament and gone and won, won, won a cup. It's a tick. It's a tick. I right. think you take it in that. In, you take it with that level of substance behind it. Well, Arteta came in and won an FA Cup really quickly. Yeah, and then they went backwards. But the winning of the FA Cup gave him the time mm. to get through the other side. Yeah. Well, you kept on harping on about Mourinho winning it yesterday, and you built your argument around that. No, what I did was I built the argument against the idea that you were trying to diminish uh, Mourinho by saying that his achievements were tarnished and that he couldn't be considered to be a Premier League legend. And when mm. you've won the Premier League three times and you've been a, a, a serial winner in each league, I think you you rank in the pantheon of greatest managers. Oh, yes. And because your behaviour's been a bit off in a few instances, it doesn't alter the parameters of the fact. And and I just use it as a matter of fact. League Cup and UEFA Cup. I didn't say it was wonderful. I just said it's a matter of fact. Why are you putting on that funny face? Because I'm looking at you. That's <laughs> okay. the reaction you bring out of me. Um, it, it, we shouldn't forget Fulham, Danny. And uh, this morning, no doubt questions will be asked in... Uh, in certain parts of the, the Everton stronghold as to what happened to, with the Nanas. Well, f firstly, pay Penalty. compliments to Fulham because that's a tough game to go to Everton when they're flying and doing really well and the crowd are up and they're confident. And they, they did okay. They played well in the game. You know, they matched them in terms of possession. They they didn't roll over and toughed it out and got to penalties yeah. and got through. Penalties mm. is lottery, isn't it? So well done to Fulham. First semi-final in what? Is, God knows how long. Yeah, and well done to Middlesbrough. I mean, well, no, mm -hmm. they should win at Port Vale. Absolutely yeah. terrific. Um, but yeah, I've just, I've, yeah, I've just got to say, how disappointing. I mean, Everton must be fuming because they had a chance to win it after Pickford's save, and Onana's penalty was a joke. I mean, why did he take a penalty like that? I know if it gone in, we wouldn't be saying that. Well, there's two things. What, 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 if one, he didn't have a care in the if world. If you give him the benefit of the doubt, sometimes you get a bit blase and cocky on penalties because the nerve takes over you. I've seen that before, mm. genuinely. I'm not sure that was it. The other thing I'd say is, know what your players, as a coach, I think you should know which what player's going to do what and what penalty. That's the way I was brought up with coaches. My first one at Crew, and then moving forward. A manager, wants, I would want to know, what are you going to do if you get a pen? And don't change your mind. Let's practice it now. And stick to it. Stick to it. Really? Absolutely. What, did you do the same thing every time? More or less. I mean, to be fair, you score. You, off, you always scored. Well, I missed one, but but the one I missed, I changed my mind because he got in my head. Good old loudmouth Joe Hart. Really? <laughs> yeah. 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 But there was there didn't look like any prep had been gone in in those pens. And some people say you can't prep. I get the pressure and all that. I've, I've been there, but you can prep players who aren't used to taking pens to stick with what they're going to do. I mean, it turns out it's a very important feature of the game. 
Isn't it? Oh, God, yeah. I can remember when we played Sunderland in the playoffs uh, semi final in the penalty shootout. One of their players, I think it was Jeff Whiteley, stepped up and tried to do a Penenka. Oh, I remember chipped, that. Chipped it in the, I mean, Mick McCarthy went demented. I bet he did. Oh, demented. Yeah. This is the playoff semi final. You've got to earn so, the right to do that, I've always yeah, said. Yeah, I mean, like Zidane. You, Zidane did it once. And I thought, you know what? He's earned the right. He can do it. He got a score. I mean, earning rights and, and, and whatever else. Well, he just got in off the underside of the bar, didn't it? Yeah, but he's, he, scored, he scored two goals in the World Cup final. He's won everything there is to win. If anyone can do it, him, it's him. Yeah. You can't walk up to the ball like Maradona or Neymar if you're a Nana when Everton haven't been to a league or never won the League Cup, I don't think. Mm. You know, just put, do something. Construct a nice and, firm pass, laces, something. Andy and Teesside, and you're quite right. I mean, come on, Jim. Little old Middlesbrough of the Championship who've uh, got the furthest out of the northeast. Yet again, sick of hearing about your favourites, Newcastle. Um, oh, it's a great, great... It's a, it's a great story. Good for Steve Gibson. I mean, honestly, yeah. Simon, it's a great achievement. Yeah. I mean, Danny says, yeah, sh they should have gone there last night and won, and he's right. But they're in the semi-finals. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they should beat Port Vale. And so with that in mind, it becomes slightly less engaging in terms of when you're speaking about some of the other games. Mm. But absolutely, I'm, you know, I'm very fond of Steve Gibson. I think he's a great chairman. And I'd like to see Middlesbrough doing well. And M Michael Carrick did well last year. Surprised me that he was going to do as well as he did. Started slowly this year. Has got them going a little bit more in recent times. Um, and a League Cup semi final is a is a great mm. is a great tie for them. Whoever they get, absolutely, I mean, they'll probably draw Liverpool, and that will be the end of them. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.